Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And uh, newsflash, Twitter is about to get worse. It can get worse? It worse can, than it already is? It can get worse. Uh, yeah, we're going to talk about this. We're going to do a follow-up to, to the Twitter debacle. Of course, Jack Dorsey out the door, new CEO in the door, and almost immediately everything changes. Mm -hmm. uh, and he, the stock plummets. The stock is plummeting. He uh, threw a bunch of people overboard. He instituted some new rules about photo sharing and, and privacy and all of this. And and uh, it doesn't seem like investors have very much confidence in, in Twitter at mm -mm. this point. Not that they ever really did, but it's interesting. We'll talk about Jack Dorsey here. It seemed like he actually was butting heads with other people at Twitter. You know, I have to wonder if we're going to hear more about this after he's like completely out. Is that why he board. got gone? Probably, could be. I mean, I'm not saying this guy's a free speech advocate. Not at all. I mean, we know Jack Dorsey's leanings, but still. But he's even like, wait a minute, why are we hiding some things? There's some things that we're hiding that I don't understand why they should be hid. But my, where I stand is, if it's, it's supposed to be real news, why are you hiding anything? That is true. So we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about their, uh, who. God, uh, dismal stock. Uh, Twitter is dropping off a cliff. There's a little bit of a rebound, but that's mostly because a lot of the sites are telling people to buy Twitter cheap. Then they probably grabbed theirs before they posted those articles. I'm sure they did. Like Market Watch is like, you know, buy it, buy it while you can. Hurry up, guys. And I gotta wonder. This was uh, today, actually. I have to wonder, you know, uh, if this is Twitter behind it. Be like, oh. Twitter stock's going to skyrocket. You want to get in. You want to get in. It's I don't think Twitter stock is ever going to skyrocket unless they oh, get no. somebody completely different in there and walk back some things. You know, uh, investing.com, Twitter shares down 40% and Dorsey's exit is now the time to buy Twitter. Uh, <laughs> good luck with that. You want to lose money. Yeah, Market Watch is talking about, they're all talking about like, oh, it's bottomed out. Buy it cheap. I uh, mean, it's possible it can come back up. But I think they're going to have to make a lot of changes to do that. But they might because they're bottoming out so bad I can't think the board and, and their investors are very happy. Well, this new CEO is worse than Jack Dorsey uh, when it comes to censorship. And I I really have a feeling that it's going to get worse. So we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about it. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, over 244,000 subs. Uh, we've been talking about Twitter because Twitter is ground zero for cancel culture. It also is sort of the, uh, I guess, uh, origin of some art and comic related drama that we talk about. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, seeing Twitter die the way that it has been kind of just slowly, painfully withering away. Well, at this uh, point, I don't care. I used to care. Yeah. But now I'm just like, I, I would not be sad if it was gone. I think the world would be a better place. And it's so weird. I think like, so too. We were talking about Hawkeye and there's a, a rumor. It was comic book resources, I think. They had an article. They're like, episode five of Hawkeye is going to blow up Twitter. And who cares exactly? Journalists. Yeah, well, I mean, blow, I think they mean blow up Twitter. It's going to make everybody talk about it. Is what they, they meant. Yeah, but who's left on Twitter? Well, that's true. Twitter is, I mean, that's the thing too. Like, we've been on Twitter for so long. I think we even lose uh, track of the fact that most normal people or well, not on Twitter. It's funny to me because things that go trending, it can have like 1,200 tweets, which is not a lot. Oh, it's trending. And I'm like, yeah. And places like Disney buy trending video. I'm sure they buy pay for things to trend all the damn time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If well, they don't get paid for it that way, they send people out to talk about it and pay them that way. Uh, true story. Disney was actually going to buy Twitter at one point in time. Mm -hmm. um, and Iger took a look at it and he was like, hell no. It was too toxic then. And that was that was that was like five years ago. Yeah, and it was actually worth a lot more. Um, well, I guess it wasn't. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Overall, it hasn't been that doing that great, no, honestly. No, it had a little bit of a spike this year. Now it's bottoming out again. So, uh, yeah, I don't know, guys. It's I don't think it's looking too good. I think a lot of people are, are moving off the platform. Um, I don't know what a viable option is, though. You know, I really don't. I don't either, but as far as buying stocks, there's a lot of other places you can invest in. Well, let's talk about the uh, Jack Dorsey situation here first. Um, this is on uh, Barry Weiss's Substack, actually, and, and she's all about free speech. But uh, she said, I guess, that uh, Jack Dorsey tried to stop them from blocking some articles on the New York Post. He actually called out Twitter's uh, safety team mm -hmm. publicly. And um, here's the tweet. And I completely missed this. Um you know, Twitter safety is like we want to provide much needed clarity around the actions we've taken with respect to two New York Post articles that were first tweeted this morning. Um, it was about Hunter Biden's laptop. 
Oh, well, that tells you everything you need to know right there. And Jack retweeted it and said, our communication around our actions on the New York Post article was not great. And blocking URL sharing via tweet or DM with zero context as to why we're blocking unacceptable. I remember that. I remember people were all upset about that. Here's my, th- people are getting banned or something like that too. Here's my thing about that. This is what I have a problem with. These, these social media outlets uh, block things and they're like fake news or worth fact checking and all. I've seen things get blocked and they said fact checking proved it was false and I know for a fact that it wasn't, tr- that, that it was true. And I'm like, wait, I, that's not false. And it, it's ridiculous how they're, they're using these, these social media platforms to try to, you know, push narratives or to block certain articles. And sometimes things are true and they block it. And then sometimes things are false and they block it. But there are things that are true that they don't let you see because they they block them for whatever reason because we have to check it or whatever. And I remember that was one of the ones people were all mad about because they were, they were getting blocked. They were getting in trouble for talking about it. Yeah, according to this, uh, Jack was mortified and angry. We saw for the first time strong evidence of the social machinery beneath him at Twitter, which he was in conflict with. Uh, He went on to criticize his company's handling of the post debacle repeatedly and then before Congress, which is really when he told us who he was. Now, they're really white knighting for for Jack Dorsey. Mm -hmm. I don't think he's that guy. No. But it does appear that he's even like, guys, we've gone a little too far. They are going too far because it's not, a, it's not, it's about, it's about politics now. It's what it is. All these social media platforms are pretty much about pushing political agendas and it's stupid and it's bullshit and it's just about controlling elections. Yeah. Yeah. And I think, you know, he might be problematic, you know, uh, at this point in time. Why? Because like, he said we shouldn't be blocking some yeah. things. Yeah, and immediately... Oh, how he, dare he? He gets gone, and the new CEO comes in, starts tossing and, and people overboard. More things to block more. And he wants to censor even more, you know? And that's the thing. Like, who's going to use Twitter? It's like, oh, Twitter's the safest space out there. Okay, mm-hmm. well, that will appeal to... No, it that. isn't. Safe no, for not. whom? A handful of people. Because I, I've seen people get attacked all over the damn place. This, it doesn't even matter which way you lean. Um, people get attacked, you know, constantly on there. And nothing's done to stop it. No. And I've seen the the these extremists on the far, 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 like the crazy fringe left, go after people and tell them to kill themselves because they didn't color a character right. Uh, yeah, I've seen calls for outright violence and endorsement of violence mm-hmm. on there from one side of the aisle and they're not punished. The other side of the aisle immediately. You even hint um, at, at something that's considered wrong think and you're... you're put in Twitter jail or have, have your account pulled. Or, well, then anything, you know. any other, any other things to try to pop up as viable uh, alternatives. And then there's something happens that they're shut down or they're hosting something taken away or whatever. And it's like, look, I'm, I, I don't politically lean either way to an extreme. I, we're, we're more in the middle. We think you're, we think the extremes are both nuts, but there is definitely a different way of handling things from one side to the other. Yeah, and it's it's definitely ramped up on one side, mm-hmm. which is so weird because I think I think a couple of years ago I definitely would have identified more with the left. Well, we but... used to laugh about this stuff like the people are crazy. That's ridiculous. No one would be that yeah, ridiculous. We did. And then we we're did. like watching this go down, and we're like, oh my gosh, you know, it, it is getting that ridiculous. What the hell? I literally used to sit there and think like, oh my god, it just sounds like a bunch of right wing conspiracy bullshit. Mm-hmm. You know, like what the hell? That's ridiculous. Nobody, no, that's not happening. That's not, and now I'm like, holy shit. Some of this stuff is happening. I mean, mm-hmm. some of it's still conspiracy theory bullshit, but some of this other stuff, this totalitarianism, is totally happening. And it's not happening. Like I said, on the Twitter side. Could, bur- yeah. could, you could burn down tomorrow, and I don't think anything of value will be lost. Anyway, um, this is coming from the Daily Mail UK, which uh, is has got a lot of ads. <laughs> it's got a lot of ads. Uh, Twitter's new CEO pushes out head of engineering and chief design officer as he restructures the company after Dorsey's resignation. I think he was probably pushed out. Well, here's the thing. And he immediately, like, it was like, there was like no time. So it was like, there was clearly being planned the entire time. Like, you know what I mean? I think it further proves that he was pushed out because they had plans in place. They initiated immediately. Yeah. He's saying it's to streamline operations. Basically, it sounds like he had conversations like, what could we do if Jack was out of the way? You know, if we got Jack out of the way. What could we do with Twitter? And I think what you're going to do is turn it into Tumblr. And then uh, all those people are going to leave and they're going to go someplace else. Now, here's here's the flip side is if everybody leaves Twitter, I got to get off this. I can't, I can't, I can't be with the ads. If everybody leaves Twitter, where are they going to go? They're going to fan out. Into they'll the, go back to Tumblr. Yeah. I'm like, at least with Twitter, you can quarantine the crazies and you can choose to leave Twitter. You can just be like. 
I'm, I'm checking out of Twitter. I left for like four months last year and it was great. And I only came back because I didn't want to leave you. But you left me for four months. I told you not to worry about it. I was already good. Yeah, I know, but. Leave again. I don't care. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> on Twitter. It doesn't matter. Don't do let the door hit you on the way No, out. I'm just like, I don't care if you leave Twitter. It's, You're much happier. It. I was. I was. Twitter's depressing. It really is. I think I think Twitter, I don't care who you are or what your leanings are or whatever. I think Twitter takes uh, bad situations and magnifies them, you know, to the point where you can't even get away from anything. It's like constantly. It's like well, bad news in your pocket. The blue ding, checks, ding, 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 the blue ding, checks ding. don't yeah. help either. I remember when the blue checks went down. Remember they couldn't post and people were just like, they, they were like, yes, because it was a lot nicer place too. When all these blue checks couldn't say anything, couldn't drum up shit for attention and clout. Yeah. I, I just think it's a, a waste of time. I don't think the stock's going to go back. I mean, it'll go back up, but I don't think it's ever going to hit, like, a huge, huge amount of, you know, return because people are just sick to death of Twitter. But they're getting sick to death of social media and the media and the internet spin in general, too. This is coming from the Washington Post, right? Washington mm -hmm. Post, which is pretty far left. Opinion. Misery may love company, but it's tough for Twitter to monetize. Uh, mind you, the company's exclusive line is not misery. It trades in misery. But the service does have its heartwarming moments. The main attraction, though, is its fire hose feed of awfulness, terrible news, viral outrage, mobs calling for the sacking of some distant stranger, mm -hmm. performative dunking on political enemies by people who appear to be reliving yes, middle school. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Megan. That's exactly what that's exactly what I'm talking about. That right there. You summed it up way better than I have. Here we go. Users are constantly threatening to exit this demoralizing stew, though they rarely follow through. Instead, they nurse wistful hopes that somehow Twitter will stop being terrible. It's not. It's not going to be. We're not going back to the cat and dog videos. Yeah, I know. It was when it started. It wasn't bad. It really wasn't bad. It was just cat videos, dog videos, memes. I know art. a lot of people in art and, and web comics and stuff were using it as like a networking thing, and yeah. it was kind of fun. And you could talk to people and check out their stuff. And it was like what Tumblr started out before Tumblr turned evil, and then all the people from Tumblr left and went to Twitter and turned Twitter evil. Yeah, Twitter and Tumblr both at the beginning they had a couple of good years where it was a, it was a great platform, especially for creatives, and then it just went to hell mm -hmm. uh, because we started dragging politics into everything, and everything went to hell. Um, they said that the hopes were refreshed on Monday morning when we learned that Jack Dorsey, Twitter's chief executive, had resigned. Uh, social media feeds overflowed with suggestions of how uh, suggestions of how Twitter's new leader could fix all the problems users complain about. But replacing Dorsey and replacing Dorsey, the board wasn't looking for someone who could make Twitter users happy. It's unclear anyone could. The board wanted someone to make money for shareholders. Right, because they weren't making money. Yeah. They well, need people they, on Twitter, and they need them engaged and outraged oh, to make and, money. But, they, but even then, they're not. They need to engage, but they're trying to do things like you know the blue and all that. People won't. They don't want that. The people that are usually the ones that are stirring up the most shit and screaming the most and threatening the most and being the most antagonistic trolls usually don't are the ones that want free. Yeah, I think a lot of. I, I mean, sit on my computer all day. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Needs to be my ringtone. <laughs> hey, it's geeky. She's calling. <laughs> um, but, but like, yeah, I mean, everybody's leaving. They're going to TikTok. They're going to Instagram. They're going to, you know, the normal people. Mm -hmm. uh, the people that have, you know, large followings on Twitter and nothing but Twitter, I think they leave and then they come back because they're like, well, shit, it's not, it's not easy to go start a YouTube channel, is it? Mm -mm. You know? I'm not going to get, you know, 500,000 well, followers on YouTube. You had celebrities that left, right? Yeah. Like, Will Wheaton left, and I don't know, he, I think he came back. Did I know he? that, that Christy, whatever, that's married to uh, John Legend, she left, and she came back. Like, I, I can't live without people kissing my ass and telling me how wonderful I am. Oh, my God. And they just can't do it. They leave, and then they come back. I love this, though. Um, this Again, this is coming from the Washington Post, right? As a business, it's close to a flop. Some 80% of tweets are produced by only 10% of yes, users. Yes, and there's so many bot accounts and fake accounts and, and like people having like 30 different alt accounts. It's ridiculous. Even the most avid participants load the main product. Listening to Twitter users talk about the platform is like listening to addicts in recovery. I would agree with all of this. They log on seeking a dopamine rush of outrage and leave feeling exhausted and awful, yet always go back for more. Yes, this is perfectly worded. I, I was actually- I applaud you. Last year, at this time, I think I left. Well, I left when the uh, the election outrage was ramping up, 
And uh, I'm like, I don't even want to be on Twitter when, regardless of who wins, I don't want to be on Twitter. And I was actually pretty, pretty happy. And then, then I went back to Twitter and everything's Told awful. Told you didn't need to. Everything's awful. Everything's awful. The people are stocky and weird. Um, I don't even look at my messages anymore. Like people are like, you did you use my message? No, I probably didn't because I don't open my messages. Oh yeah. We've made that mistake before. I mean, if I know who somebody is, I'll, I'll, you know, talk to him for a couple seconds, but there, there are people that send us weird shit all the time. Um, and if you say messages, I'm not talking about necessarily all of you. No, no, I'm no. I'm just saying, just, there's yeah. usually people I don't know, but I get some, I get some weird stuff, so I don't even check it. Bot it's not accounts. Worth, you know. I wish you'd die because you don't like Shira. Or our kids would die or something like that. Oh, yeah, we've gotten those. Yeah, and it's yeah. like, I don't even, I don't even open them anymore because it's not worth it. And it's like, I don't, you know, I really don't care. I've noticed too, there's a, a direct correlation, at least, you know, being a YouTuber, there's a direct correlation between having a Twitter presence and getting like dogpiled on YouTube. Because what happens is to people that are Twitter addicts, you know, if it's not on Twitter, it doesn't exist. And what happens, I think, is a lot of times people forget you exist or your channel exists or you're doing stuff unless you're on Twitter talking about it. Right. Well, they're just, they're, there's a lot of people sitting there all day long doing nothing but looking for things to go to active activist against or to go. Look, this yeah. is this is my this is my one chance at changing the world. <laughs> You know, I'm sorry if I annoyed you. Uh, if well, it did, uh, oh well. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm looking at I'm looking at you know some creators that have have left, and a lot of comic book creators are leaving Twitter. It's not just you know comic skate people, or whatever. A lot of mainstream comic book pros are leaving because they know the longer they're on Twitter, the more likely it is somebody's going to find something they've said or something they've tweeted, and it's going to be problematic, and they're going to get canceled. So they're going to like Substack, and they're going to Instagram, and yeah, other places. Elsewhere. I just think when I think of Twitter, I think of that one girl, the little girl, and she has the can in her hand, like the Pepsi can, and she's like crunching it, like I'm so mad. That's what it reminds me of. Um, yeah, so the stock is cheap. People don't want it. It's down. I don't know if I'd recommend Like, oh, now it's time to buy. It's like, I don't think I would buy it. it even in the last couple of years, it hasn't gone up that high. No, I've, I've, I have Twitter stock. I, I bought it years ago and it's, it's pretty much just kind of, it's had its ups and downs. I don't have a lot of it, but it, you know, I don't expect anything to really come about of it. Twitter is never going to blow up and be like, oh my God, it's like, you know, TikTok. 2.0. It's like no. Twitter had its its peak, and now it's just kind of there. Mm -hmm. And uh, whether or not you use it, you know, I, I don't know. I think a lot of people are going to be chased off. Um, it's time to put that thing out the pasture. <laughs> shoot the birds. I mean, put I the, know, bird the bird I don't know. Anyway, um, we gotta change the logo to like letters, and then shoot that. Happy kittens. No. No, not shoot the happy. No. No, like I think Twitter should just be happy kitten videos. Oh yeah, that's okay. You know, I, I've been getting more. Now, I will say that their algorithm has has been better because I've been getting more recommendations for stuff I like, like Transformers, retro video games, and Godzilla, than political outrage. But I haven't been engaging with a lot of those people either. So, but yeah, we usually people try all the time to tweet at us or subtweet or whatever. And for the most point, we just we, doesn't mean we don't see them. We just ignore your ass. But you know, <laughs> yeah, mute, 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 mm -hmm. mute. All right, we gotta wrap it up. Yep. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.